I once again do you give credit where it is due? Do you um, have someone maybe that works for you or you've hired someone and uh, you fail to tell them how great a job they did or anything like that? Maybe you think that, well, I paid them money, so I really don't need to thank them, you know, gush over with words. <laughs> Pastor Bob Reynolds here from True Life Community Seventh-day Adventist Church. And I heard this story about this CEO of this large company. And he had this secretary. And he was always bragging about the secretary. What a great job she does for me. Well, his vice president um, wasn't so sure. So he thought, I'm going to I'm going to sit in his office and see what the secretary does. So he did. He went to the office and he watched the secretary. And sure enough, she was so efficient. She was really, really good. So he went over to the secretary and he said, uh, you know, your boss thinks you're really a good, a good worker, good secretary. And since I've been observing you today, I found out that he's right. What's your secret? She said, oh, it's, it's not my secret. It's, uh, it's his. You know, everything I do, no matter how big or how small it is, he tells me what a good job I do. Isn't that amazing? Our words can inspire others to be better people. <laughs> That's amazing. And it's so simple, just saying words to people or maybe to God. Be thankful to God. Listen to what Paul wrote to the Ephesians in Ephesians chapter 4 in verse 29. This is great advice. He says, let no dishonorable talk come out of your mouths, but only what will help those who hear impart grace to others by talking faith and hope as fits the occasion. This was a very smart CEO. He knew how to help his secretary do all that she could for him because he complimented her on everything she did. <laughs> when you see a young person or maybe an older person or uh, someone do something that's really extra special, thank them the police officer, the soldier, the person serving our country. Thank them for their work because sometimes it's pretty tough. Father, we need to have thankful hearts. And in order to show people that we have thankful hearts, we need to say the words. We need to thank those who do good jobs for us. Help us, Lord, to open our mouths and bring honor and glory to those people because it helps them to be better people. In Jesus' name, amen.